I'm Bekan Sangwisi from South Africa. In 2003, I was very, very sick. And I was told that I have colon cancer. But um, I remember there were doctors and psychologists who were there. Uh, this psychologist used to tell me that uh, you have to prepare your will because you are about to die. To my surprise, she was telling me that and I had many things to do because I was building houses for the destitute. I, I have kids that I have to pay for their school fees and it was difficult for me. What I did, I didn't listen to the psychologist um, because of the love that I had in me. You know, when you are told that you have cancer, the on only thing that you think of is death. But to me, it was like, how can I die before I finish building these houses? And I decided in my life, in a short space of time, I have to give my best. My best. Whatever I do, I make sure that uh, I give love to the best. Let me tell you this. How can I die? while an 85-year-old woman is being raped by her grandson. In South Africa, I'm saying that. How can I rest while a father is raping her children? This happened and I fought for that. I remember this father didn't go to work and she'll, she'll tell her daughter not to go to work. And I decided to come with a plan. And I said, I'll fight for this. What, what I did, I decided to go there with my friends, who were three women, to protect that child. You know, when we get there, remember, African men are tough. When you see him, you'll see that this man can even beat you. But I decided to go there. I think some of you have read about this, some of you have seen this in the newspapers, it was on national TV in South Africa. I decided to go there. When I was there, during the night, I knew, you know, that this, has, this man will come to that child during the night. We decided to sleep in the other house. He came at around past 12 during the night. Let me tell you what we did to him. I don't think he'll forget. We beat him. And then I called, I personally called the police. He was arrested. He's now serving life sentence. And I'm proud of that. <laughs> Remember, I was told that I have cancer. But still, I had to do something for my people. And I build houses. You know, when I build a house, I don't just build a house that I don't like. I build something that is decent, something that if it was me, I'll stay in that house. When you give, give the best. Don't just give because you are giving. When you give love, unfortunately because of time. And now, lastly, in short, um, I have this grannies who play soccer in South Africa. Uh, they play soccer better than the team from your countries. They are, their age is from the uh, 50 and the, uh, the oldest is 77. Invite us in your countries. We'll show you how to play soccer. I mean, Grain is playing soccer. What worries me, the reason why I did that. When you get old, if there are doctors here, I think you'll bear with me. When you are old, there's a, at a certain age, you life change you tend to forget that many things happening in my country when you are there at that age when you have problems like that they put a tire on you burn you alive and i couldn't stand that i had to pr protect old people that's why i have the granny soccer team and the grandfathers have joined playing soccer and life is good because it relieves, relieves their stress. Unfortunately, because of time, I'll share, you, I'll share with you next time when I come, 2016. Thanks very much.